You know, sometimes the left comes up with some pretty good terms, with my personal favorite being consequence culture. And boy, are we seeing a tidal wave of consequence culture right now. The consequences, incidentally, of having created cancel culture as a weapon to be wielded against your enemy. And as we all know, you dig a hole for somebody else, don't be surprised if it turns out to be your own grave. As a lot of people, this one being probably the most high-profile example, with Tenacious D's Kyle Gass stating on stage in front of thousands of people that he hopes the shooter doesn't miss next time, in reference to the last weekend's events, <laughs> well, I mean, He's been forced to apologize now. The entire tour is over, and Jack Black presents it as if this was a choice of his own making, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people called from a lot of concert venues and said, Sorry bruh, I don't think I want you on my stage. Your, can your reservation is cancelled. As is the thing. We could talk about this from a schattenfreude point of view, right? The fact that the bear trap has yet again closed around the left's ass. A bear trap with their very own stamp of making on it. But more so, I want to talk about the the appearant uh, lack of understanding of their actions here. How somebody can stand on stage and go, I hope the shooter doesn't miss, and then later in his apology go, I don't condone violence of any kind in any form against anyone. Tard! You just did! You did on stage in front of thousands of people and let me be clear here, Kyle Gass was not expecting booze, he was expecting applause. That was what he was expecting, because the left has gotten so comfortable with being the ones in cultural power, being the ones cancelling others, that they cannot fathom the idea of this smashing back upon them so rapidly and so completely. And the best example is of course what we mentioned yesterday. Elon Musk to pull ads from Destiny's X account after latter made offensive posts about Donald Trump supporters. That was the least of what he did. And Destiny's response to this, the free speech advocate himself has arrived. What happened to fuck the advertisers, eh? Oh boy. See, Destiny is a member of the left. He lives within a bubble of such unbelievable cultural privilege that he believes, genuinely so, that he can make comments and jokes about the people being killed, that he can post the pictures of blood on the stands where a man died and still be considered advertiser friendly. Oh, oh my god, the... See... From my point of view, being on the receiving end of cancel culture from the last 10 years, like, I have had cancellation attempts against me for quoting black comedians, okay? I, I look at something like that, and I, oh, I would not touch that with a 10-foot fucking pole. Like, the George Floyd event, for example. The moment that started hitting the mainstream news, every sense in my head was like, yep, don't comment on this, shut the fuck up, you have nothing to say. And if you do, you are going to word it very carefully. There is no room for levity here, there is no room for gayness and jokes. There is only room for <clears throat> extremely carefully worded seriousness. Because, oh boy, your neck is on the line, but for Destiny, and so many others like him, this just didn't occur to them. It, it wasn't a point of reference. And cancel culture, or consequence culture, is now coming right back at them. And let me point out here as well, you can absolutely call what the libs of TikToks is doing here, cancel culture. I would even agree, but turnabout is fair fucking play. The only way the left is ever going to realize the cost of the tactics they invented is if they are applied to them. It is only if Destiny leans back and thinks, well, maybe joking about a dead guy wasn't actually the smartest thing to do and might actually affect my standing with advertisers. Yeah, might. Might indeed. And hey, to be fair to the Biden campaign for once, um, Biden admits Trump bullseye comments a mistake. The Biden campaign has very swiftly realized that its rhetoric is looking really fucking bad right now and is attempting to row it back as swiftly as possible. So at least he's got some, you know, advisors that are wide awake, which is nice. But 
This, again, comes from just having no sense of the gravitas of events. What we are seeing here is another Bud Light event. It is something that galvanizes not just the right, but the entirety of the normie populace as well, as you elect to take a shot, not, not just at a presidential assassination attempt, but one in which the presidential candidate comes out with one of the largest PR victories in human history. One in which the president is wounded and stands on stage fist raised as his, his security staff is struggling to remove him from the stage with the American flag waving in the background. Oh boy. People keep saying that optics aren't relevant. Oh yeah, it is. And if your optics are to make yourself in opposition to that, you're either very dumb or very blind. And you know what? Even my good little buddy Dev fell afoul of this. Yes, yes, we're gonna take a shot at Dev now. Because see, Dev is friend. And I don't actually believe that Dev did anything particularly wrong here. Dev did a dumb here. Because Dev's radar is not as honed as Archer's. Arch looked at this and sighed internally. And went, ugh, Dev. I know you posted this afterwards to be like tongue in cheek, haha, but. <laughs> This is not really the time, Dev. And hey, guess what? Dev apologized for it afterwards, after realizing that this was a stupid thing to do. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna get to Mark Hamill's thing as well as the opposite of this, because... Oh, the perfect midway. See, Dev realizes he said a dumb, and then apologized, and so I would like to thank these people for telling me. Meanwhile, Archer's sitting here going, Dev, Dev, I've been telling you for weeks that perhaps you should watch where you place your big old feetsies, but no. Does Arch get an acknowledgement? No. Why? Because Dev is a little douchebag, that's what. And again, <laughs> Dev friend. I don't actually think Dev did anything wrong here because he realized that he was trying to be funny and the joke didn't land. Whereas you've got people like Mark Hamill here who says, there is no place for violence in politics, ever, and then continues with, with fear for our democracy. Mark ha Hamill is a midwit. Mark Hamill does not understand the meaning of the words that come out of his mouth. Mark Hamill says, well, you know, my, 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 my senses here is like, uh, political violence is never acceptable, ever, never. And then goes, oh, Trump is trying to take over the state and cool the Supreme Court so that he can be dictator. Hamill. I know that you're not actually intelligent enough to understand this, but the entire idea of threat against democracy, the allegation that you are someone who is going to destroy the democratic functions of the United States of America, that is an accusation in whose name any action is justifiable. There is no place for violence politics ever. Let's put it like this, Mark. Do you believe that the election of Adolf Hitler was above reproach? Would you not have cheered somebody taking a shot at Adolf Hitler? Just to take it to the most extreme end, because that is what you are saying. That is what the left has been saying for years now, by comparison Trump to Hitler. This is what we talked about yesterday. This is the allegation that justifies political violence. And are you then going, when the violence happens, oh, I didn't mean that, is patently retarded, and either you are exceedingly dumb, or you are exceedingly malicious. And in Mark Hamill's case, I, I do believe it's the former rather than the latter. As he also pointed this. Oh, this one too, by the way. This one's kind of funny, uh, because this picture here is like, Mark Hamill, oh, he's sleeping at the GOP. Um, you see this over here? Uh, this is from a prayer session. Yeah. Um, Closing your eyes at prayer? <laughs> this is why I'm saying he's dumb. And then this too. First appearance of a ludicrously oversized ear bandage apparently not needed prior to tonight. You know when people get bandaged up, they bandage as much as possible around the wound to prevent bleeding, etc. and to stabilize it. When you get shot in the air, 
ear, ear, and you've got a piece of it hanging off. How is the easiest way to attach that? By simply wrapping it around the ear. If anything, they've been nice because they haven't wrapped it out of the whole thing, thus impairing his ability to hear as what would probably be the normal thing to do. <sighs> See, this is the difference here. Mark Hamill quite genuinely believes what he's saying here, because Mark Hamill isn't very intelligent. Whereas Dev, Dev did a dumb. And upon realizing that Dev was being a dumb, Dev said, oh hey, I'm a retard. And yes, Dev, yes you are. <laughs> and next time you'll listen to Arch when he tells you to be a bit more careful about something. Right, Dev? <laughs> because, of course, also, it's got nothing on this squeeze. Oh, Jesus. And what I would very much so like to see now, incidentally, is for this to be expanded upon. Let's not have this be limited to just Twitter. I'm, I am actually genuinely amazed that YouTube hasn't said anything yet, hasn't established any guidelines, or put out any updates as to what is and is not acceptable, as I would genuinely expect them to do so by now. Normally, I would have expected guidelines to happen on the day. I was live when the assassination attempt happened, and I was saying the thing to myself, this stream is getting taken down any minute now. As normally, when things like this happen, YouTube tends to be rather trigger-happy, and yet nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Almost as if all the social media platforms is looking at the backlash, looking at what has become a galvanizing moment from the, for the right, a genuine cultural moment, and wondering, maybe it's time to start switching sides. I would like to see that. I would like to see a good mm, five years at least of consequence culture for the left. At which point, we can start considering going back to a state of normality, with hopefully a lesson or two learned. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Until then, please do enjoy this moment of schadenfreude, and marvel at the fact that somebody could have lived through the last ten decades without apparently learning a damn thing about it. Until next time, I've been Arch. Thank you very much for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.